Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com and welcome to another Lessons from Flying Again. Radio communications is the topic today. And it's one thing that a lot of people are either really, really good at or really shy away from when it comes to talking on the radios. Maybe you're good at a controlled airport, but not good at an uncontrolled or pilot controlled airport or vice versa. You're great at the uncontrolled environment, but are scared or terrified to talk to an actual controller. Well, in the movie, radio communications played such a large role. And maybe you remember Ariel's interaction with Page Tower. We have information alpha, altimeter's all set, everything's good. It's time to give him a call. And first things first, I teach to cold call. These controllers are so busy, we want to give him a cold call first. So Page Tower is his name. Page Tower, you know, Skyhawk 15222, and we stop. Page Tower, Skyhawk 15222, we stop. We let him come back and say, Skyhawk 15222, go ahead. Okay. Then, we, then we'll say Page Tower, Skyhawk 15222. I'm 10 miles to the west with information alpha, inbound for landing. No more second row. Okay, I'm gonna screw that up, but um. Okay, let's practice. You wanna just do it or you wanna practice? So Page Tower, Skyhawk 15222. 15222, this is Page Tower, go ahead. 1223, runway back straight. Page Tower, November 15222, 10 miles to the west. With, al with, with information alpha? With with information alpha. Bound for landing. Bound for landing. Okay, I think I right. can do that. Uh, pilot, that's how I said. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. All right, give him a ring. Okay. Page, page tower, this is Skyhawk, November 15222. Skyhawk 15222, page tower, good morning. Good morning. Um, page tower, no, um, November 15222, I am 10 miles west. Um, information Alpha. Um, with Information Alpha. Skyhawk 222, enter and report the left downwind runway 31. Left downwind 31, 222. Left downwind 31, 222. <laughs> I don't like doing that. That was good. That was a nice lady. You just wanted to say good morning to her. You just wanted like, hey, buddy. All right. So we've got to enter and report a left downwind for 31. All right, so let's think about that here. So as you saw, Ariel herself said, listen, I really don't like doing that. And it makes sense too. think of where she's from. In Alaska, it's radio communications aren't as prevalent as they are here in the in the lower 48, where it takes a lot. Flight following is everywhere. So how can we improve on our radio communications? Well, I break it down into really the three W's. Who am I? Where am I and what do I want to do in addition to what information do I have? Who am I? Skyhawk 7159 Quebec. Where am I? I'm 10 miles to the west. What do I want to do and what information do I have? With information alpha inbound for landing. When you can break it up and make a script like that for yourself, it makes radio communications so much easier. But I promise you're not the only one who's struggled with VFR or IFR radio communications. If you've seen the movie flying again, you know you're not alone. Every rusty pilot and, geez, current and proficient pilot I've worked with struggles with radio communications. If you haven't seen the movie or want to see more clips like that, go to flyingagainmovie.com to order your DVD. DVDs are shipping now. flyingagainmovie.com. Um, enjoy that, enjoy the movie, and most importantly, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya. Flying again is not just for rusty pilots, but pilots of all experience levels, and even those non-pilots. It's the story of someone giving up something they love, aviation, for someone they love. Maybe a child or a spouse. The funny thing about aviation is it always has a way of bringing us back. Join us as we watch these pilots flying again. You are 60 feet over the runway, girl. That is hot. Family is the reason why I got into flying. Family is the reason I stopped flying. And now family is a great reason to start flying again.